2022 has been a stellar year for forgiving irons for high handicap golfers and in this video I have what I think are the top five forgiving irons for said golfers. So let's do it and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, that is right, it is finally time for my top five forgiving irons, top five forgiving irons for mid to high handicap golfers. These are mainly gonna air on the high handicap golfer side and they all have their own little special quirk, guys, which is why they are in my top five. We're also going in order, so stay tuned to see what is my number one forgiving iron for 2022. Spoiler alert. There's no spoilers there, guys. You're gonna to have to wait right to the end. Get in the comments below, what are your top five and what do you disagree with that's in mine? So I'm gonna kick things off with an iron that I just absolutely loved from start to finish. It's not the most expensive iron, but it's not quite the cheapest. Oh, that is so good. Every time I do these videos, I wonder why I don't use more forgiving irons myself. Guys, in at number five, I have the Tor Edge Exotics C722 irons together with their diamond face, with their vibe core, and with the Ventus shafts. Let's get down there, let's see where that is, and I'll talk you through a little bit more of what makes this iron so special at number five. Now, you see, for me, there are a number of factors as to why the Tor Edge Exotics C722 irons are in my top five, and why they're at number five. They're not the best looking irons that I have in my top five, but they certainly look quite nice. For me, the top edge is not too thick, but not too thin. The offset's just about right. The blade length's a little bit long, but I think for the high handicap golfer, that's generally gonna suit your eye a little bit more than maybe some irons in there but then they have their own little quirks, as we've said. Guys, that five iron off the tee has gone absolutely miles, and that is a big factor of why these are in my top five. We've got a seven iron here from around 170 yards. Can we get on that green? We're into the wind a little bit as well. You know what, this actually looks quite nice down at the ball. It's just that top line for me that makes it look a little bit big. And this is a big factor, guys, of why these irons are in here. I've struck that horribly and it is flag high on the right hand side of the green. If you're a high handicap golfer, that's everything that you want, and that is the number five of my top five. See, that wasn't that bad, but it wasn't good. So that is the Tor Edge Exotic C722 in at number five. Guys, what is at number four? So for me, the number four best forgiving iron for mid to high handicap golfers, again, airing on the higher handicap side. I will be doing a video for the lower handicaps, guys, because I know you guys still want forgiving irons, but you still want them to look good. Guys, these are the Mizuno Pro 225 irons. They are a hollow body design, and they also have a buttery soft feel. Let's play a couple of holes with these, and let's see what we can do. Guys, for me, these look so good. They almost look like blades, very similar to TaylorMade P790s, very similar to Cobra King Forge Tech. Are they in here? Stay tuned. And you see, for me, it's quite a funny one because for me, Mizuno almost speak for themselves. The MP range from Mizuno has always been a fantastic range of irons from the 225 to the 223 to the 221. 221, probably not for the higher handicap golfers, but you kind of know what you're getting. You know what you're spending your money on. Nothing feels like a Mizuno is the tagline. These are in at number four, which speaks volumes about the clubs that are higher up in my rankings. Right. That did feel spectacular, and that's all over the flag. Be good. <laughs> that has landed absolutely perfectly. And the thing about for Mizunos for me is, yes, you get the forgiveness, but if you do get them right out of the centre like I have done there, they actually feel buttery soft. They're made of GF forged chrome Oli, and remember, they are the HMB version there. I didn't realise it said that on there, actually, and I, I used to call them the HMB because that's what the old models were called, and I'm quite glad it says it on there. Let's see where that is. So really hard to argue with that result on a par three. And the thing that I love about the HMBs as well, or the 225, should I say, sorry Mizuno, I know you are trying to get away from that name that I always call them, is they go fantastically in a split set. So if you want a high four, five iron, if you want something more forgiving in the top edge of your bag, maybe you are trying to get down into that mid handicap section, these might be perfect for you. They're blending perfectly well with the 223s, which I've been using for some time. I should probably have gone for these in the high irons, but they're also perfect for you high handicap golfers throughout the bag the pitching wedge and nine iron are a little bit big the top lines a little bit too big maybe for your mid handicap golfers 
but perfect for those high handicap golfers. Let's see if we can knock this in with the six iron because we've not brought a putter, but a birdie's a birdie, so why not have a go? Where's it pitched is the question. It's pitched here, so it's literally pitched and stopped dead. You can see it's Green's Treatment Day here at Woolley Park Golf Club. We've just done a video on that. And that is a birdie too. Oh, it's not. With just a Mizuno 225 irons. Guys, what is in at number three for my top five forgiving irons for high handicap golfers? Don't go anywhere, I'll tell you. So there we have numbers four and five, guys. What is in at number three? I mentioned earlier about the Cobra King Forge Tech irons. For me, they were the best irons the previous generation of 2020 and 21. And we have something a little bit different in here. So we have Cobra King Forge Tech irons. But not only any, the Cobra King Forge Tech X irons. Guys, these are a little bit bigger than your standard Forge Techs. We now have the Forge Tech, which is smaller, and the Forge Tech X, which is bigger. This is designed for your high handicap golfers. It's got a longer blade length, it's got more offset, and it's got a thicker top line. I think it looks perfect for a high handicap golfer that is wanting that element of forgiveness. Let's hit it off here and see just how far we can get up there. Could it match the Tor Edge Exotics? Because that went miles. Cobra King Forge Tech X do feature the PowerShell design, which is designed to generate more ball speed on those low center hits. And we also have the element of tungsten weighting to improve MOI and CG, again, for those off center hits, because that's what potentially high handicap golfers are gonna struggle with most. For me, there's a little bit too much offset on here. The top line is a bit too thick, but again, for the high handicap golfer, this could be everything you want. And when you strike it out the middle of the bat, it probably feels as good as anything which is scary. I'm actually struggling to comprehend, guys, just how much better in previous years forgiving irons have got when you do get them out the middle. When I first started doing these videos, 2018, 2019, yes, you had forgiveness. Yes, you had the performance if you hit it out the toe, out the heel. You did not get the feel when you got it out the middle like that one. That was phenomenal. So again here, I feel like I've hit a fantastic tee shot with a mid to long iron on the par four, and we've only got a seven iron left in. We could probably even go eight iron if I had it with me. But guys, so the tailor-made, tailor-made, not even tailor-made, they are Cobra. I'm gonna leave that slip of the tongue in because they are designed with a hollow body and a lightweight foam insert, where have we heard that before, to get that extra forgiveness, to get that extra distance. Guys, the only reason these aren't higher up, they are a little bit pricey. They're gonna run you over a thousand pound for a set four iron to pitching wedge. So that's a little bit pricey for me. And you maybe will see that in option two. Guys, all these clubs that I'm talking about have one major thing in common. Get in the comments below if you can figure out what it is. We've spoke about it a couple of times already. Right, can we get this close? into the wind again should be a low spinning iron anyway again the blade length's a little bit long for what i would prefer but for the high handicap golfer what more do you want oh, i've just leaked that out to the right a little bit that's me fighting the offset on there but again that should be running down to be flag high it's not going to be close it's going to be out to the right but flag high with not a great strike what more do you want so the Cobra Forge Tech X irons take up slot number three of my top five forgiving irons for high handicap golfers of 2022. I mentioned they're a little bit pricey. Guys, in at number two, we have an iron which isn't a little bit pricey, which is full of technology and which has some spectacular looks. Guys, of course, it is the Tacoma 101 irons. You will have seen these on YouTube. So many people have reviewed them and I think a lot of people have the same views as me. You get fantastic looks, you get exceptional build quality. So you can see here, we have KBS shafts, we have Lampkin grips, and we have a beautiful looking head design. They're gonna set you back around $500. They do have taxes and import depending where you do buy them from, but they're still gonna be probably half the price and some premium irons. For me, if you are a high up golfer, if you are new to the game, that's second to none. Let's take on this par three and see how close we can get it. Tech-wise, the Tacoma 101 irons do have a precision milled face. They also have a hollow body design. Guys, remember, get in the comments below, what do all these irons have in common? Well, I'm almost giving it away there. But they also feature tungsten weighting, again, to get you that forgiveness. And they also feature some quite nice looks. But we also have a 101 T iron now, which is almost like the P770 to the P790, if that makes sense. More for mid-handicap golfer, maybe even edging into the low-handicap golfer, but they do have a big array of CB irons and MB irons as well for everyone. 150 yards, we've got the 9 iron. They are quite strong lofted, as you would expect for a high-handicap golf club, but looking down at these, I know I can trust the KBS shaft. The Lampkin grip looks remarkable. That'll be good. Laura, look at it. 
oh, it's still the world's worst bounce as well, hasn't it? That felt fantastic. It's gone the distance, 150 yard nine now, what more do I want? And I know if I didn't quite catch it, that blade length and top line would give me the element of forgiveness that you do want. Let's get up there, let's see where it is, and let's talk number one, because I'm, I'm really excited to tell you number one, like really excited. Comment below, what do you think number one is? What? How's that? Not number four for the year. Let me look at where, look at the path that has to have gone on to get there. It's landed short. You can see where it's rolled. Oh my, look. Anyway, one of the big things that I really like about the 101 before we do we get on to the number one iron of 2022, starting with the price, is that you can order it in your specs as well. You can customise them on the website for no extra charge. So if you know your line angle needs to be out a little bit, or if you know your shaft length needs to be a bit longer or a bit shorter, you can do that. And then the money that you save, so I think if you've got a full set of these and invested the $500 you save instead of buying something else, if you invest that in lessons, you are much more likely to become a better golfer, to get down to the mid handicap, to the low handicap range. I can't believe that. Look, you can see that it's, anyway, we've, we've, had, we've had our quota for the year, I think that's telling us, but that is a two with the Tacoma 01 irons. Guys, what is number one? I'm gonna give you a five second countdown. Four, three, two, one, let's do it. So we have had the Tor Edge Exotics irons. We have had the Mizuno Pro irons. We have had, I forgot what we've had. We've had the Tacoma irons and we've had the Cobra Forge Tech. It's been a long day, guys. What is number one? So number one for me has a miraging steel face. It has a Hydra Pearl black finish. I think we know what it is, guys. And it's actually the same as last year, the Ping G710 iron. Now, hear me out, guys. This isn't the cheapest iron. It is one of the most expensive ones. It ranges around $1,000, depending what you go for. But they've not released a new one. And the reason why they've not released a new one this year is because it's so good, and they know they don't have to tweak it. They don't have to alter it. It's almost a perfect club. If anything, I think it could feel a little bit softer. I think it could... I just don't think it needs to because it's that forgiving, it's that good. I love the black Hydra Pearl finish. I think that makes it almost look smaller. I've said this in previous reviews. It's a huge head. It's got a nice thick top line. It's got loads of offset, but I'll show you on screen now because it's got that black finish, it doesn't look that big. You've got the confidence of it being big, the confidence of it having the forgiveness and a huge footprint on this five iron, but it just still looks quite stealthy. It looks quite sexy almost. I mean, I've hit that so bad. That is the worst golf swing of the day. And it's trundling up to the 150 yard marker once again. I think guys, if something's perfect, you don't need to change it. And that is a huge example of it. Guys, that is my top five figuring irons for high handicap golfers in 2022. 